today I'm showing you how to get an instant and accurate pH reading using the HANA pH Checker Plus. Hi guys, I'm Randy and today on BRS TV How To, I'm showing you how to test your tank's pH by properly calibrating and using the handheld HANA pH Checker. Maintaining a stable pH within acceptable levels is very important to certain biological functions like building skeletal structures through calcification as well as for the health of many creatures we keep. And the first step to maintaining those levels is to test where they are in your tank. There are a few methods to test pH like color changing titration style test kits, pH pro with the monitors and aquarium controllers and checkers or testing pens like these. Many of these testing methods meet a variety of needs, but for those who may have a hard time reading color scales or for someone who isn't ready to invest in a pH monitor or aquarium controller, this handheld pH checker is a solid option. Where some pH pens or checkers only have one calibration point, you can calibrate the HANA pH checker with two points, which will end up providing you with even more accuracy down to the hundredths. Not only that, but it comes with a couple calibration solution packages to get you started. Calibrating and testing with this checker is quick and simple, so let's take a look at how to set one up. Of course, the first thing we'll want to do is calibrate the checker, and I like to prep my calibration solutions by having them open and ready to go. Then I'll turn on the checker, let it cycle on, press and hold the button until I see the calibration screen. I'll remove the protective sensor storage cover and dip the tip of the pen into the first 7 pH solution. When the hourglass stops blinking and the screen changes to 4.01, you're ready for the next solution. After the calibration settles using the 4 pH solution, the screen will store the information and exit back to the main screen. Here I can verify that it's calibrated by seeing the 4 and 7 indicators and I'm ready to test my tank. To take a reading, all I need to do is rinse the checker probe tip with cleaning solution or RODI water, put it in the tank, press the button, and that's it. Just remember not to submerge the checker past the black probe tip, and when I'm done, I'll rinse the tip again and put the protective cover back on. Well guys, that wraps up this how-to. If you have more questions, please don't keep them to yourselves because that's what this team of reefers lives for. Give us a quick call or email, and if you need your answer in the next 60 seconds, hit us up with a chat. See you in the next episode of BRS TV.